Just got back from the standoff in Bunkerville, Nevada, where people stood up to federal agents pointing loaded guns at us, threatening to kill us, threatening to shoot, threatening to use lethal force if we did not leave the area. They said they had a court order, Josh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they had, they had a court order to use lethal force to kill everyone out there. Right. And, I mean, the people that were on the other side of the fence, the citizens and the, the Bundys, they weren't standing behind shields. That's right. But the other That's guys, right. they had their doors open. They were standing behind shields because they're cowards. Full body armor, helmets, and standing behind their doors, standing behind their vehicles with a loudspeaker saying, go away, go away. It was amazing because there were so many of us and we outnumbered them by so many. They truly were afraid, even though they had their, their shields, their body armor, their weapons pointed at us, and their loudspeaker threatening us about their uh, supposed court order. You know, they, they were very much afraid. And it was great to see them backing up. They would not turn their backs on us as we shouted at them. We were not threatening them. They were threatening us. And yet the way they put this out from the BLM press release and the way it was reported by the mainstream media was that they were worried about the safety of the public. Yeah. They were the ones pointing guns at us. Yeah. They were the ones threatening to shoot us. We were the ones walking to them with arms up in the air, with, uh, with flags in the air. It was a V for Vendetta moment, but with cowboys on horses. It was, it was a great moment. Let me talk about this, uh, where we go from this. Because we've got Obamacare that's been put in by a lawful court order. Is it legal? Just because the Supreme Court justice says this, just because Roberts, who had already written an opinion saying that it was not legal, then for some reason, maybe it was one of the first cases of the NSA blackmailing somebody, who knows, because we see uh, right after that, we saw things happening with uh, Petraeus. Was it the first instance of them blackmailing somebody? Because we've got the Supreme Court Justice Roberts writing both the, uh, the uh, uh, majority opinion and the dissenting opinion. Reversing himself very dramatically. And so does that then alter the Constitution? We can read the Constitution. We know that the government does not have the right to force us to buy something. What They don't have any rights that are not specifically given to them. That's why they went through the motions of doing a, a constitutional amendment to create the income tax. That tomorrow is a day that they want everybody to file the, the in, income tax. When they did that, they made it about income, and that was very different from wages. Then they extended it during World War II to wages, said they were going to do it temporarily. Then they kept that on. Now they've put on Obamacare and said they're going to use the IRS on Obamacare. How do we get out of this? Well, there's a good example back in November 15th, jury nullification. Jury nullification. Go for your trial. Stand up for each other. That's the thing that we learned yesterday is that if we can't get, we can't, count on Rand Paul or Ted Cruz to stand up there and dismantle Obamacare. We certainly can't count on the Republican leadership like Boehner. They love this kind of new power that it gives over us. They love to transfer money from the American people, property from the American people to their corporate masters. That's essentially what was going on here as well. It's the same type of things, the same patterns being put everywhere. In this particular case, you had a woman who owed no taxes. But she refused to sign the form. The IRS wanted her to fill it out using their numbers, and their numbers, of course, were zero. She said she wasn't going to do that. And so what they did was they took her to court, charged her with contempt. And this is what the judge said. This is how she instructed the jury. She said that it's not a defense to the crime of contempt that the court order was unlawful or unconstitutional. Do you hear that? It doesn't matter if what I'm telling you is unlawful and unconstitutional. You do it. And that's the attitude we saw out there with the BLM. It doesn't matter. The law is in our mouth. Okay, it's a fiat law. It's a dictatorship. Yeah, I think, uh, what, what was the ruling? It was uh, Marbury versus Madison. I could be wrong about that, where it said that if it's unconstitutional, then you don't have to follow the law. Yeah, it, well, you know, what we're seeing here with this is essentially... We have to understand what the Constitution is. We have to understand when the laws are counterfeit or when they're just fiat, okay, when they're fiat laws. We need to know what the real law is so we can stand it down. Now, the question is, what do we do about Obamacare? In this particular case, in this lady's case, just because she would not sign the form, they take her to jail. They were trying to put her in jail, and they're instructing the jury that it doesn't matter if what I tell you is unlawful and unconstitutional. Well, you know what? There was one juror who stood up, even though he was hounded by 
the prosecutor's office, he stood up, nullified this. It takes one person out of 12. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. We've been talking about the standoff and the stand down of the militarized BLM presence there. They essentially had martial law. No free speech. Anybody that steps foot on their, on the king's land is gonna immediately be taken down, tased, arrested, brutalized. Sniper nests, observation posts. It was martial law even though they didn't declare it. And what took it down? A vigilant people, people showing up, people understanding what was going on and of course, the reports about the crony capitalism and the corruption and Harry Reid's involvement in it. That's the story that's coming out and that's the narrative. That's the understanding of the other people. They said this has been taken down. This is orders from on high because of course the head of the BLM now, Neil Corns, was one of the senior policy advisors for Harry Reid just as his son was a chief lobbyist for one of these solar projects. And Alex, they needed to get the rights to that area so they could use it like carbon credits so they could take off his property rights, so they could put their property on there and sell it off as a kind of crony capitalism. And we're going to have Jerome Corsi joining us at the top of the hour, talking about how the Chinese government is trying to do this in myriad ways throughout the country. Well, that's right, and that's why this is such a big deal. That's why it's really a keystone or a Rosetta Stone, because as I said when I popped in earlier, I wanna recap that and then walk through this for folks, why it's so important. It's a propaganda victory for liberty. If they would have shot 100 of those people, it would have been a victory for liberty, but would have probably started a physical revolution. So we don't want that to happen. But we would have had the moral high ground when the revolution starts to restore the republic and could have ended the Civil War a lot quicker than if they staged New Oklahoma City to blame on us, to make us look bad, to start the civil war preemptively where they have the jump. Mm -hmm. and, and this is how governments and systems think. Uh, if you go back to Egypt and, and, and the Israelites coming out, it was over land and abuse and, 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 and torture and, and, and uprisings, Moses. Um, if you look at what happened in 1989 in East Germany uh, that you mentioned earlier, and we've had former members of the Stasi secret police on, who hated the regime, didn't like what was going on, were ordered to arrest or shoot people that tried to get out of the country or get out of East Berlin, uh, they finally just stood down. They finally just uh, you know, did their job, and so the Berlin Wall came down. We saw this in Romania with Ceausescu right around the same time, where the, the, the ministry police were aiming their guns at the people, and the people started marching forward. They shot a few. But then the other guards got really freaked out in the police and threw their guns down or turned their guns on the military, started shooting them. Let me, let me interject something here. One of the Bundy daughters said she went over and she talked to one of these uh, guys who was in one of the vehicles. I think it was the night when they had stopped it. I'm not sure exactly the time, but she- Doesn't matter, just- Yeah, and she said, are you, why are you doing this? Don't you understand what's going on here? He goes, yeah, I don't wanna be doing this, but it's my job. And she said, are you proud of this? He says, my grandfather would be so ashamed of me at this point. He understood that what he was doing was wrong. He was this close to, to doing the right thing because there is a higher law. That's There's right. A higher moral law. Well, well plus he has the grazing rights. I mean, see, yeah. see, it's just like if people stop paying property taxes. People go, well, that's the law. Property tax is from feudal Europe and feudal Japan. Yes. It means you didn't own your land. It meant you were a renter. It is a government rent. We did not have it anywhere in the U.S. till about 100 years ago. It's only been phased in nationwide in the last 30 years.
but people now think that's normal. Bundy's like, my family's been here forever. We have the grazing rights. We've never paid it. He goes, I'll pay it to the state. And, and he's saying that's legitimate. I don't think that's legitimate. I don't think the state, even though it's more legitimate than the feds, trumps something that you've had on record. But, but this is the same thing. This is the domestication process. It's why they don't want lemonade stands. It's why they don't want local farmers markets. It's why they harass them. Because the big corporations want it shut down. So, so here's the larger issue. Worldwide, from Burma to Mexico, from the United States in Nevada uh, to areas of Europe, they're banning cook stoves. They're banning wood stoves. Uh, they are forcing indigenous populations off of their land. And people don't know why Mexico, Mexico City doubled in size the last 30 years. It's because they force more than 10 million people who own their land but live there so long. They would say, well, where's your deed? Well, my great, 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 great grandfather. You know, going back a thousand years, we're all buried here. And the town's named after me. Doesn't matter. Mexican troops came in, forced them off. Only place they couldn't force them off was Chiapas because they fought. And they're still fighting. Okay. Now, if you expand that, the last time I went to Cozumel, and I won't go there anymore. I've been there probably 25 times. And they forced them all into the city, which is the agenda 20. Used to, you saw fishermen out there. I wonder why they were all mean now, unhappy, poor. Everybody was freaked out. And, uh, my, my dad speaks Spanish and stuff and talked to him. They said, no, we've all, the last five, six years, we're not allowed. My parents had gone with me and the family, you know, on a trip down there a few years ago. We're not allowed to fish anymore. Only the big factory trawlers are. And, wow. and, and, and but, but then look here, they have limits on us fishing, but not the big trawlers. See, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's the globalist shutting everything down. So, and we learn it's China, it's Harry Reid, it's the BLM head. They're all involved in this. It's totally illegal on, on its face, just like all the other scams they run. So Just like Obamacare. Just like Obamacare. Yeah. So it's Agenda 21 takeover, and the public's so ignorant, they're now saying it's a privilege to be a parent. It's a privilege to own a gun. It's not a privilege to travel, but the average cop goes, it's a privilege for you to travel. No, it's not. If I'm in commerce, it is. Mm -hmm. A commerce clause. See, we have the federal and state rulings. We're informed. And that's what I see everybody pushing back. They're saying, the government had rights. The government owned this land. He has a privilege. He has permission. He violated that. They can remove that. We don't have any rights anymore. We only have permissions and privileges according and to that's the why when you only, The government owns things. Only the government has rights. Exactly. And that's why when you go on a national park or someplace, which this wasn't even that, they let you know you're lucky to be here. Mm -hmm. Because it's all, they know they've stolen it all. So they're guilty. So they want to make you feel guilty to so accept it. But to explain this to people, 90% of Nevada, it was 90, it was 87, 90% of Nevada is federal federally managed but then they want to charge you and all the rest of it to come on it so they can spend three four five million dollars to, to 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 go after some guy and his his cattle in the middle of the world no it's about them putting the solar farms just south of him and in the expansion phase two it, go, it does go to close to his property mm -hmm. and then as you said this is the buffer zone if you read the new york times last year paul watson wrote about it they have a mercenary groups for the un going in to uganda and literally burning and killing villages when they won't leave, shooting people. The New York Times admitted this to take their ancestral uh, native lands off limits so they can have mines and strip mining and clear cutting next door in an IMF World Bank controlled project. So you understand it's the exact same thing. It's the same program worldwide. And the New York Times talked about the mercenaries lining people up and shooting them. And I tell people, who, who love the UN and, you know, every model has to give them, you know, and girls all wear the UN shirts because they care about the kids. That, you know, hey, the UN's running extermination programs under AFRICON. They don't even believe it till you show them, till you show them uh, the actual documentation, till you show them what's going on. So this is a world fight here. And the point is, at Ruby Ridge, they killed the people. At Waco, they burned them down and killed the people. At all these modern events, the feds have not backed down and it's blown up in their face. See, we win either way, but we don't want people to die. And the, the historic magnitude of, I would say, close to a thousand people there, did oh, you yeah. say? Oh, yeah. Close to th hundreds of people on horseback, mm -hmm. massing, and people on loudspeakers saying, we're going to shoot you. You come up to the fences and they say, back off and we'll leave. No, we're not. Tear down the fences, march in with guys up on the berms, snipers. 
armored vehicles. You guys are so close. You're only showing part of it there on the video for TV viewers. And Drudge has you know, linked to this video the last few days. Uh, in fact, we'll give folks the name of the video and show them the article uh, here in just a moment so, so we can give it out and folks can go check it out. In fact, ask, ask a Don or, or one of the guys to post it back as the top story on Infowars.com. There it is, historic. Feds force a surrender to American citizens. People on YouTube, a minority of them, say, Alex, why are you so excited about this? The feds will come back. You know, this isn't over. I know that. Yes. The point is, is that the iconography, the archetypal image right out of V for Vendetta of where the people are marching on the Capitol and the military has been ordered to shoot them and they stand down. That's how Ceausescu fell. It's how the East Germans fell. It's how the old Soviet bloc fell. It's how every corrupt system falls. Now, I don't want the system to totally fall because you got a parallel republic and the New World Order takeover system that's using the old system to take it over. I want to reboot the republic before the globalists under Agenda 21 economically and culturally collapse us and then poses the savior. See, they create the false crisis to then pose as revolutionaries. They're going to try to bring in a leftist uh, you know, system when they couldn't control the Occupy movement. And well, that's what it's been about for a long time. They then time. flushed it. Yeah. You go back all the way back to the time of Robert McNamara, the IMF. They were accused of, and, and the or correct way to put this out is just rent seeking, essentially turning all of us into serfs, into slaves. That's it. Who don't v own anything. Via laws. They own everything. And that's why the BLM is going from management to ownership so then they can transfer that to the globalists. Well, that's right. And, and of course, before uh, with the BLM, people wouldn't put up with this. And it's like, I've got a ranch here for seven generations, five generations, uh, and uh, I've always run my cattle on this before this was there. And so they know that this sector of the public land is where such and such runs, runs his sheep, or is where such and such runs his cattle, or is where such and such grows his, his oats. The point is that's the way that's always been out west for more than half the land's federal. They prey on the ignorance of the public to not know this, but, but this is what it all comes down to, is that is that it shows that the feds didn't want a new Lexington or Concord. They, they didn't want at the point of where the people called their bluff, they backed down and it shows the moral authority. And it was because of the iconography. It was because of the images of the people in the cowboy hats, the American flags, the whole deal. We, the real America, were reclaiming the country from the hired mercenaries out in the middle of the desert at an extreme expense, who've run off the 52 other families, bought them out, forced them out, now bluffing and lying and saying, well, you wouldn't sell, Bundy, so now we say you owe us grazing rights. They just pulled that out of the air, had some federal judge certify it, when all the precedents, all the history, all the state rulings, all the other federal rulings show that. This is about calling their fraud, and if people ever realize no amount of property taxes, no amount of grazing fees, no amount of cops writing tickets will ever pay for this. The more taxes we get, the poorer we get because the globalists have signed the federal taxes onto derivatives, 1.5 quadrillion, 700 trillion U.S. is our global portion. This is all on record at Davos. This is all openly in the mainstream news. 90 plus percent of that is not even our debt. They've signed us onto a black hole that no amount of money will pay off precisely because of that. They've signed America, this engine of liberty, this engine of wealth, onto a giant bill that's not ours, it's so big that nothing will pay it off. And so why do they want the taxes so high it bankrupts everybody? Three words, they are exempt. On record, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the Bushes, the Obamas, all these people are basically tax exempt. GE, uh, Google, I mean, most of these companies pay zero tax. Warren Buffett, oh, he's so nice, he put $100 billion with uh, Bill and Melinda Gates and his foundation. You go look at it, they run their companies as tax-free now. They live in giant mansions with their helicopters and everything free because it's owned by the foundation. You or I can't go do that with our $300,000, $400,000 when we retire, hopefully that we've got saved. It's being inflated away. We can't do that with our house because the property taxes always go up to eat out the profit. They, they are, the, the money changers are up against the free market. They call it overheating when the economy starts growing past 3.5%. We had 10% growth rates from 1789 right through the Great Depression. But ever since the, our country went into receivership, it's never ended. 
it's, it's just gotten worse and worse from the richest nation in the world to the most indebted, from the healthiest nation in the world to the most sick, from the most aggressive and inventive nation to the most slovenly and dumbed down on every front. We can rediscover the animating spirit of liberty. What happened in Nevada when we have the moral high ground, when exercised over and over again, they're buying armored vehicles. They're trying to take on the Tea Party and gun owners and libertarians because the globalists have looked at the only opposition in this country that articulately knows it's a global UN banking cartel takeover. They've already seized the country. They believe they own the country through fraud. They believe they've conquered it. But if we ever go, wait a minute, you did this by fraud. The Federal Reserve's not federal. Wait a minute. When the cops figure out why their parents are going bankrupt, when the firemen figure out why that's that, when the FBI agents, you know, ha has their kid die of cancer and finds out, wait a minute, that brain cancer uh, virus is in vaccines, when they find out their little kid died. See, the New World Order is going to hurt people so bad that there's no way we can lose. The question is, how far do we go down this hell hole before we find our fighting spirit? That's right, and that's exactly what we saw happening here. When we played that clip from Emin Bundy, he said, these are hills that we grew up on for generations. We were free to roam them. And one day... They beat, up, they beat up teenagers that pull up with their trucks and their girlfriends to fish. BLM shows up with guns and says, exactly. what are you doing here? Exactly. I mean, literally a bunch of armed, crazy goons running around. One day they wake up and they got snipers on the hills with their guns pointed at them. And Kit Daniels found the documents where the Walton Family Foundation says, we'll give $400,000 to the... To, to, to help the environment here as soon as you get the Bundys off of their ranch, as soon as you get their trespass cattle off. And of course, that same family foundation, the guy who runs it, is sitting on the board of First Solar, which is going to, has already broken ground for their solar project using the Bundy Ranch It's incredible mitigation. And then the Chinese backed, uh, 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 Chinese government backed group five billion to come bring in this infrastructure, which we could put in anyways, but is a boondoggle. All this is, all these energy deals to the Democrats are, 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 are literally just payoffs. Yeah. It's like when George Herbert Walker Bush gets paid a million dollars to speak in Japan or, or Beijing, in Tokyo or in, or, in, or, in, or in Beijing. It's on record. That's what those are from these governments when the Saudis pay right. Bill Clinton a million bucks to come speak over there. Okay, a million dollars, folks. That's all this is, is a total takeover of our civilization. And, and so they've got their blueprint, we've got ours. We tell the story, we tell the narrative with the imagery of us at the Alamo with our guns defying the police and their unconstitutional law, they back down there. Remember that? Mm -hmm. That was just a few months ago. Oh, yeah. You guys go and you do this and, 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 and walk towards the guns as they're saying they're going to shoot you. And they're sitting there thinking, man, am I going to just shoot some people? Plus, it's like Lexington, you guys had your guns down at your side. You were reporters, you had a video camera as a right. gun. But the people with guns... Once the Fed started shooting, That's right. people were going to be shooting back. And see, now there's the realization, oh, you're really going to have a civil war now. You're really going to die for the lie, for the fraud of you didn't build it. Bundy, you didn't build this. Your great, 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 great grandfather, seven generations didn't build this. Get off, because we got a bunch of Chinese communists and, 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 and Harry Reid and people, and the Walton found it. What do you think Nature Conservancy, Sierra Club, and all these groups do? Yeah. They come in. They get you to sell your land out for nothing. They, they flip it and build condos on it 10 years later, and nobody remembers. Clearly, there was a link between Harry Reid and his son and the Chinese energy company, as well as current solar projects that are underway there. Well, more than a link. I mean, that was in the oh, news yeah. two years ago. Oh, yeah. We just hadn't realized it was that land. Specifically mentioning that land as essentially their mitigation area. And you got to get rid of Bundy. Exactly. Because the cows will get into the... You know, in the electrical stuff. I tell you, Alex, I, I wish you could have been there. I know you would have loved to have been there. It was just amazing to see that victory. See people walking up there, standing down, the men with guns sure. pointed at us. It was, well, well, it was well if I was you, I would have Corsi on for, say, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. If he wants to ride shotgun, that's fine. I would do 30 minutes of calls from folks to get their take on this. People are really excited. Yeah. You could even do overdrive if you feel like it uh, today because this is the time to celebrate and do a fourth hour if you wanted to. But if, if, if not, that's fine. The nightly news is coming up tonight, 7 o'clock central at prisonplanet.tv. Look, I'm going to leave it at this. Tiananmen Square did not go the way the East German collapse did or what happened in Ceausescu or what happened with the Magna Carta. It, it went the way that 1775 Lexington Concord did mm -hmm. uh, with violence. But, but at Lexington Concord, we won that battle. Mm -hmm. 
And I have no doubt that if a firefight would have started, they didn't, the globalists want to blow something up, then have a firefight start and say, we, we blew up a federal building with a daycare center in it. Mm -hmm. That's how they're going to do this. Yeah. They don't want it out there taking people's land because they can't spin that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm not saying the average BLM would be involved in that. I'm just giving them intel on how the real world works. Okay. Now all the false flags are being declassified. Cy Hirsch is reporting on it. So this didn't go the way of Tiananmen Square. This didn't go the way of Ruby Ridge. This didn't go the way of Waco. This went good. And it was one of the first times we've seen something go well. And it shows in the minds of the BLM and, and the establishment, they know they're losing the moral high ground because they're there to clean people off. This is happening all over the West and all over the East and all over the Midwest, wherever there is people near national parks or public land or people that own the land that's inside of national parks that they held onto, they're just locking the gates, not letting them in. Um, they're, they're harassing them. This is part of an Agenda 21, get us off the land. You know, write tickets and shut down those little girls selling lemonade or, or mistletoe. It's about tracking everything you do in commerce while they turn your resources off. It's about put the Indians on the reservation, put the blacks on the plantation, put the poor white people in the sharecropping operation. You can only buy your products where? The company store. That's right. Folks should look into that. This went back to the Romans. That's why you're always playing Tennessee, uh, uh, Tennessee Ernie Ford. I owe my yeah. soul to the company <laughs> store right. because this is what's happened over and over again. This is not some new system. The Republic's new, 235 years old. Feudalism is 6,000 years old. Yeah. That's why we know it. We know its paradigm. We know how it works. We know where it goes. We know how to beat it. And this, what you saw, if duplicated, and if we own this victory, and don't let the COINTELPRO disinfo it, and, oh, we didn't win anything, they'll be back. Of course yeah. they'll be back. Yes. We, we, we rediscover our fighting spirit, that's how we win. Now, listen, I'm going to turn things over to you. Incredible job, you and Josh, everybody, and, and your great wife. I know, you know, she was right there, you know, watching on the live stream with everything you went through, so God bless her strength and your great family and the great crew. Chinese government-backed economists that are proposing a plan to allow Chinese corporations to set up development zones. They're going to create entire cities in America where they send in Chinese businesses and Chinese uh, uh, factories to, to set things up. This is what's going on across the country. But there's another story here as well. And that is the growing gradual encroachment and infringement of our rights Gradually moving onto our property, just like somebody moving their fence onto your property. You know, they mentioned that specifically in the Second Amendment because they knew that they weren't going to just come in and take away our right to keep and bear arms with just one fiat. It was going to be a gradual encroachment process. And we've seen that over and over again from these regulatory agencies like the BLM that essentially start to regulate without representation. That's a key feature of this story. But the, key, the most key feature about this is that we know that this is not the end of the war, but this was a victory in a very important battle. It's a battle that can wake people up, not only to what's going on with Agenda 21 and other issues, but it also wakes people up to see how they can stand this down. And we're not going to be able to get a mass of people to every place where the government is taking people's businesses or taking their property. Because you know where they're taking people's businesses for the most part? It's with things like Obamacare using the IRS. Just because the government says that they can do something and gets a court judge to uh, uh, order this, doesn't mean that it is constitutional, doesn't mean that it is lawful. And yet, just as we saw with a court case back in November, where the IRS was filling out the form for a lady and telling her that if she did not sign it, they were gonna hold her in contempt, they were going to send her to jail. She had zero taxes owed, but it was about their power to force her to do whatever she wanted. How did that end? That didn't end with a mob of people. That ended with one person on a jury standing up for what is just. We need to understand that there are principles that are higher than the declared laws, especially if there are laws and regulations that are put in place by people that we don't even have a say-so, that we don't even get a chance to vote in or vote out. If we're going to have regulation with that representation, we as a people need to understand that we do have a place, even if we can't elect someone who, to, who will roll this back, even if we've got an opposition party who is just as much in bed with the corporatists that are setting up Obamacare and the massive transfer of wealth from all businesses to insurance companies. They're putting out not just ranchers out of business, they're putting out a lot of small businesses because of Obamacare, because of the increased expenses, increased regulations, codes that are being put in place by 
larger corporations so that they can force their smaller competitors out of business. This is happening everywhere. When this happens in your community, people need to stand up for a jury trial, and the jurors on those trials need to look at what is justice, not what is the law. Not just to take the orders of a judge. It only takes one person on a jury to stand up to nullify a law. That's only 8% of the population, approximately, about 1 out of 12. If we can get that many people awake, that many people to stand with those who refuse to obey unlawful orders, we will take this country back. You are watching the best of The Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.